is it the time to be very aggressive in terms of putting in more capital at work what kind of setups are going to work uh, and it answers essential operational questions to the strategy which i'm trading or the ages which i'm trading and uh, this has become a very popular concept right and you see like again if you have good ideas in trading they travel right bad ideas don't travel so what a lot of things which i've done have traveled and you see a lot of people who are like now ex staff b members and uh, others and all talking about situational awareness or they become essential part of their methodology and on the stock b side obviously you know that on, at uh, 9 am i have a meeting about situational awareness before the market open so uh, that's a very but here is the thing right and if you are uh, means did i know all these things at the beginning of trading career no and that's the problem for beginner traders because the framework which is required to make money which is situational awareness is more important than anything else in the market uh, knowing setups knowing charts knowing like an indicator uh, doesn't make you money if you don't have a situational awareness right but that's not something which most of the trading books or most of the things people talk about and that's the life essential life saving skill or a profit making skill for a trader so these are some of the challenges of this field where there is no formal education channel or there is no formal thinking as to how to become a good trader basically i agree 100% and this is actually something that is very actionable so if you're a struggling new trader you can do this tomorrow the next time the market opens just write down what you think is going to happen and see if it plays out and just constantly do that and that is a very simple way to improve yourself as a new trader So diving in to the stock be site a little bit you've seen thousands of traders throughout the years throughout the last 20 years you've seen mm-hmm. the ones that become successful you've seen the ones that are still on the site that are mm-hmm. that they didn't do anything because mm-hmm. of their laziness mm-hmm. so what are the the key things that you see in the traders that attend a boot camp one or two and after that they just turn into a rocket and they they become massively massively successful in trading So what makes like after talking to successful traders or seeing successful traders become successful very quickly and those who don't make it I think another couple of but one of the most important thing which is going to make you a successful trader is self leadership all the traders which I have seen uh, who have become highly successful from the stock b uh, thing or outside of stock b I know traders who are outside of stock b who are very successful and I'm friendly with them and I, one distinguishing characteristic is self leadership those people have high self leadership that means they can find what is wrong with their trading they can fix problem uh, they are motivated to fix problem they can find information on their own uh, they can search for information they can like and you know, talk to some other trader if they have a problem they will approach somebody saying hey what do i do about it that initiative and that self leadership if that is there then the probability of that trader becoming successful is very high if the self leadership is not there then they are all waiting for answers they are all like uh, they will have a problem with anything which is available if there is a guide they will say oh this guide it's too long it's too short it has too many videos it has too little videos or, or things like that so self leadership is one of the key thing for traders and that's why i have like an uh, did on the uh, stock b side two big presentations uh, on uh, how to develop self leadership and that's the area of interest which i have developed over a years about how to improve self leadership so that you become successful that's one thing which is very common among successful traders the second thing is mind clarity whenever you talk to a trader who is profitable he has extremely good mind clarity about his setup understanding of the structure of the market they can clearly explain in simple language what really makes them money you talk to a struggling trader is going to get you into paragraph or like essay into what is wrong with the market how it is manipulated or whatever or what is the problem in his life or he has a job or he has a girlfriend and he's got a dog uh, they are just beating around the bush okay a trader who is very clear has a mind clarity will tell you look how do i make money i know i make money by using momentum burst i use the episodic pivot and i can explain to a 8 year old kid um, how this particular thing works so if you don't have mind clarity and self leadership it's a very very big uphill climb so that's why these things like in you know, the boot camp and all 
Now, what does the bootcamp really do? The bootcamp really creates that mad clarity because it is difficult on your own because you don't have a feedback mechanism, right? And when people come for the bootcamp, they get one-on-one -on -one personalized kind of attention in terms of does that person really understand, right? And the exercises and the way it is designed is for that. I don't think this can be done uh, in a virtual format because virtual format, I don't know the body language are like, and you see when people present here, like you're, you'll see now, right? And you've been to multiple boot camps, like when they present and how from that presentation, uh, I know whether they understood, not understood. And then I ask them to go back or other people tell them, or they can see other people uh, doing the same thing and how efficiently others are doing or how quickly others are doing. So that combination of mind clarity, social learning, and seeing people like them do it successfully in a three day time period uh, makes the difference and some traders make it and some traders don't make it. It's not that the traders who don't make it are not working hard or they are not really motivated, but uh, there is the, in spite of all the factors, I think and if there is ultimately an X factor which is very difficult to explain. The successful traders have some X factor, which is unexplainable factor, uh, which is really where they can like quickly grasp an idea and get a mind clarity and make it work. And if they encounter problem while doing it, they have this problem solving attitude. They have this uh, ability to overcome those problems, find a solution and move forward. While the struggling traders, um, they have pathos, they have like an, they just like you know, continue to circle around and uh, go nowhere. So that's the difference, I think, probably in terms of self-efficacy belief, I would call that like you know, in terms of being successful as a trader. Mm -hmm. I, I completely agree. And um, another one thing is that you do that I learned very well is compressing your learning time frames. Mm -hmm. And you kind of brushed upon it on bootcamp. But is that also another thing that you see successful traders do? They mm -hmm. they go through the deep dives and they they really mm -hmm. compress their learning time frame. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's like you know, I've learned, I've read a lot about and I researched a lot about learning theories. And uh, the way to learn anything is to compress the learning curve. Uh, like if I make if I try and learn something about six months, the probability of I learning something in six months is very low versus. If I compress that in a bootcamp kind of a style, that's why you see the, the one place which has done maximum amount of research on learning theories is the US Army. And they use a particular methodology for training people, right? And which is bootcamps uh, by compressing uh, the, you always learn best when you're under tremendous pressure. Right, and that's true of like, and if you ask anybody who's done post graduation or graduation, when did they study? 48 hours before the examination, right? And that's like and how typically this operates, right? When you are under pressure, your brain is working at maximum capacity and it tries to make sense of the world and it can learn like this. And that's why the traders who learn, they just do deep, like classic example of one of the traders, which is on the site, the mystery trader. Uh, who made a lot of losses and he came back and all. And then he just sat and like, and did deep dives after deep dives continuously. And just in six weeks he comes out of that and he develops a method and he re gets all his money back. And, and now he's made so much money that he's just like, and he's spending his life going into different European countries and uh, just uh, having the time of his life, right? But uh, it did take him like, and it didn't take him six months to do it, right? He did it in six weeks. So compressed learning, I think, is the most fundamental. Means it, it is nothing to do with trading. It's true in any field. If you want to learn something, just like and you know, do it in big chunk, like and you know, do it in 48 hours, uh, 72 hours, or like and you know, put yourself under pressure, and you learn like this, and you decide I'm going to be a trader in one year, two years. I think probability of you becoming a trader in one year, two years is zero probability of you becoming a good trader under pressure is much higher if you do it uh, in a very compressed time frame. And it's, that's why uh, the bootcamp is so much fun for me to do, right? Because uh, I get to do really put pre people under pressure and make them uh, so uncomfortable. And they like, you can see their body language when they come in on the first day, they are so unsettled. They are like, uh, nobody has done this thing to them kind of a thing, right? 
uh, and then you see this transformation by third day they are like completely changed people because the pressure and the pressure from other people who are there and who are presenting and then uh, it's a it's a combination of that which works like a magic right mm -hmm. No, I completely agree. And I've, I've been to two boot camps so far, and uh, I'm going to be attending this third one. And you, and the one thing that you notice is that people don't give respect to trading that it needs because people will spend four years in college to to get a degree on engineering or science or, or uh, biomedical or something like that that requires four years, and you have to spend countless hours studying. And trading is no different. I don't know why people think that you can shortcut trading by just jumping on the market, buying a stock and thinking it's gonna go up to like 100X. Like these are things that require the same, if not more dedication as your normal job, as your, you know, as like a high level career. Because most people lose money in the market, 90% of the people are not profitable. So you have to give respect to the market, you have to give the time that's owed and anybody can make it. Yeah, this, uh, I think I mean, it's also a function of like an, uh, I don't think any, you're right, but like any, in terms of like any, people uh, don't have a pathway, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of these things is not that they don't understand that this is going to take, but there is no pathway, right? And there is no, like any, there's a doctor who is next door to me, right? Now, there's a prescribed pathway to become a doctor. And <coughs> she's a general practitioner, but the next doctor next door after that is a gynecologist. So there's a prescribed pathway to become a gynecologist or neurosurgeon or something. Here, this is like an, a free for all. And you can just like an, a, have a computer and like you can start trading, right? So yes, but th th that's why some make it, some don't make it. Some find the right guidance at the right time. Somebody opens a window, they take the opportunity and go and uh, make that into millions of dollars and some people struggle. So that's not something which uh, is going to change, I think. No, I, I agree. And, and having an unstructured path is why a lot of people get lost. And transitioning to our last point, which is the significance of mentor, mentorship and having a trading community. So if you're not on like the stock B site, I'd highly recommend it if you want to be involved with a lot of other successful traders. What can you speak about how being in a community full of traders that are successful, how can that rapid uh, how can that speed up the process of becoming successful, successful in the market? Yeah, I so like you know, see, the, it's like you know, I, I, if a, if you want to be a good trader, right? Join committee of some traders which is successful. Don't have to be stock B like you know, any community. And the reason is very simple, right? And it's the same thing. Like you know, there is this entire movement in America about homeschooling. Uh, yeah, but like you know, how much can you learn in homeschooling? The lot of learning happens in school system, not because of what is taught to you, but because of the social interaction, right? The social interaction or social learning is such an important part of learning, right? And when you go to an Ivy League college, I went to a very prestigious college in India, right? It's not what the professor teaches you or what, but the quality of people, the thinking of people around you, which raises your aspiration level, right? You talk to good successful traders, you are going to save years of research because they have perfected, right? You talk to some uh, trader who is using a particular way and you ask him. So there is so, so much social learning aspect to any learning and this is not about trading. It is true of anything. You go into a medical school, you learn, my brother is a uh, cardiac surgeon. You learn so much by social learning. Uh, I don't think like you, know, you can do that by having a homeschooling of cardiac surgeon, it will fail because the learning happens by watching cases, watching other traders and things like that. So social learning is a way or social learning. I mean, I laugh when people say, okay, I'm going to sit alone and trying to become a trader. It doesn't work. You talk to traders who are successful. Like, yeah, once you're successful, they might become loner and they might uh, one not get distracted by somebody but in a learning phase social learning is going to save you a lot of years and social learning is going to make you uh, successful very fast so i think I mean, if there are a lot of communities of traders currently but even if you don't join that i think I mean, twitter is the best community of traders like i follow so many traders on twitter right and i learn so much from them uh, that 
would have taken me years to learn on my own. I don't have to do that experimentation. I know what somebody is doing, how they are doing, and I can just observe and I can learn from observation. So social observation or social learning theory, which is Albert Bandura's theory of social learning, uh, is a very well established learning theory. And I'm sorry, like when readers say, don't get influenced, sit alone and do it. That's the bullshit advice. That's the worst advice which you can get basically because you can uh, improve your learning curve so rapidly. That's what happens in these boot camps, right? And uh, social learning is so much because you remember when we were having a boot camp in Las Vegas mm -hmm. and the first hour when people presented versus like you know, one person comes in and he presents and then like everybody changes their presentation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they learn so much by that one person I said like and you know, he's potentially the next Christian Kulamagi, right, and to that person, and then everybody, next round, everybody is like in a, making a presentation which is better, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what happened in that just half an hour? Social learning, right? Everybody went and spoke to him saying, oh, how did you do this? And uh, social learning, right? And how much time people saved because of social learning? Uh, that's significant, right? So, mm -hmm. social learning, uh, talking to traders, other traders, is a way of developing your uh, things very quickly, whether it is about trading or anything else, social learning is very important. Awesome, that's an amazing piece of advice that uh, definitely implement immediately. Uh, so thank you so much for giving all this advice and telling, telling us about your story. What is one last thing or a couple last things that you'd say to a new trader that really wants to make it in the market? What is some advice you can give them? I would say that you look at the first thing which you need to do is as quickly as possible find a tradable setup, a structure which is tradable, find something which is structural in the market, like and which is something so inherent to the market. Because if you base your methodology on something which is so inherent, that is the way the market operates, like post earning announcement drift is an inherent tendency of market. It's not going to change in your lifestyle lifetime or momentum burst is not going to change in your lifetime then your probability of successful being successful is very high so that's one structural thing and second is situational awareness so if you can develop situational awareness uh, you will have many more profitable years uh, situational awareness i think is the key component to being successful more than anything else awesome thank you so much for uh, giving us the information mm -hmm. uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, yeah, definitely watch this a couple times. There's a lot of really deep insight into how he became a very successful trader throughout the years. Um, learn it, implement it, and you'll have great results in the market. Thank you so much.